Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Alex Show. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to set up OBS for music streaming on the platform Sessions Live. OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. This is the software that you're going to need to pull your video feed, your audio input, and send it out together to your streaming platform of choice. In this tutorial, I will show you what recommended settings I use so you too can provide an optimal streaming experience for fans. Starting this November 2020, the only way to stream on sessions is by using Open Broadcaster software. So for the first step, you're gonna want to go to obsproject.com and you're going to want to download the software um, depending on whether you use Windows or Mac or Linux, select the operating system that you have. Um, and since I have a Mac, I chose the Mac. And this will have you download OBS. And I just went to my applications. And this is where I um, decided to save it. And then you just open up the DMG and then follow the rest of the instructions to make sure that OBS ends up in your applications folder. After you download the program, open OBS. Make sure to ignore the pop-up window in OBS. And the first thing you wanna do is go to your sources window section, click the bottom left corner plus button and add video capture device. You can name that webcam, or whatever camera model you have. And then under device, select the um, device that you're gonna use. I'm choosing my webcam, you can too. And then you'll just hit okay. If you find that your webcam is not reacting, um, just simply restart your computer. That usually works for me. Then you're going to add audio by clicking that plus sign again and selecting audio input capture. Again, you can name that whatever model microphone you have. Um, and then device, you would just choose the microphone that you're using. If you're just using like a simple straight plug into the computer microphone, click OK. And then you can see right here, the audio is being picked up. But if you are someone who has an interface, an audio interface, and you're using a microphone that requires phantom power and requires being plugged into an audio interface, go back to your properties, audio properties, and you want to select this software that I've downloaded called Black Hole 16 Channel. And it's a multi output device software that I've downloaded so that I can take the audio coming out of another program and sending it to OBS so that the listener can hear what I'm hearing on my end so that the quality um, transfers over to your fans. I'll go more into detail about Black Hole in just a second. Now let's set up the video output settings. Click settings in the far right menu, bottom right corner of OBS. Click on the output tab and make sure that your video bitrate is set to 2500 kbps. Make sure your audio bitrate is set to 160. Then click on your video tab. Make sure that your base resolution and your output resolution are matching. And this is standard definition. So just select the 1280 by 720 for both. And then I just leave the frames per second at 30. Then click on the advanced tab. And then you want to scroll down to network and make sure that you select dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. And the little pop-up menu um, gives you some more information on that. Instead of dropping frames to reduce congestion, dynamically changes bitrate on the fly. And then for audio, what's worked for me is going down here to mic auxiliary audio and selecting black hole 16 channel. That again is your multi output device software and is using your interface and your microphone. Then you should hit OK. And then you are basically ready to start streaming on Sessions Live. And you're also ready to start streaming on Facebook Live or Twitch or YouTube or other social channels. Now I'm gonna show you how to go live on Sessions. This is what I see on the back end from my experience with this platform. When you apply an audition to become a part of Sessions, and once you get in, you will be provided with an artist code. 
and that is going to be your sign-in credential. So you're gonna enter your code right here and then you're gonna give your show a name. It can be a theme, it can be like Top Pop or Hang With Me or Eilish Tunes or something short, you know, just to give your audience an idea of what to expect. Okay, so now we are in the back end of my artist panel on sessions. And as you can see, there are a couple things here. Um, we have the option to um, stream using browser stream or using OBS. Now browser stream will be going away um, this month. So your only option will be to stream with this platform using OBS only. And so what you're seeing here is you're seeing server code information, a stream key. I have this checked off for faster latency. And down here, they give you a couple of OBS streaming tutorial information, which is very helpful. Right down here, you can disable and enable your song request queue. You'll be able to go in your artist panel and actually make a list of song requests that fans can pay you to perform live for them. Something that I think has been working for me, even though I'm still familiarizing myself with the platform, I had a recent show where my song requests queue finally showed up and I think it was because I disabled it then enabled it after I had gone live so I would enable after you go live and then this is basically where you can see the chat and you can interact with your fans and you can respond to them so you can see their comments and then comment back in real time on camera so here are the steps to go live step number one is add the server and the stream key to your OBS settings so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to OBS and you're gonna go into settings and then you're gonna go into stream. And then over here you can see Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitter, and then you can hit show all. And then you have all these other options of platforms to go live to. For us, since sessions is not here, see you don't see sessions as a selectable platform, you're gonna hit custom. And this is where you plug in the server and the stream key information. Once that is copied and pasted, and here you can copy each, copy, copy. Once you copy and paste that into OBS, then you hit OK. Now, whatever you um, put on OBS, like, you know, whatever's happening in OBS, will start to be sent to Sessions Live once you hit Start Streaming over here. When you hit Start Streaming, you'll go back to your artist panel and see in OBS, start streaming and wait for your video to appear. You're gonna wait for your video to appear right here where it says no input detected. Once your footage appears here, you're then going to select go live. And then you should wait until you see the video that's popping up here, pop up here. So once your video is live in this window, then you know that your audience can see you. And that usually takes about a minute. It takes 10 to 15 seconds to pop up here after you hit start streaming. And then once you hit go live, it should take up to a minute. So you wanna give it some time and be patient. I know it's a little, you know, iffy. You go here for your love. Um, see, so once you um, perform a successful live show within 72 hours of you getting accepted into sessions, they will send you um, a, a current uh, an, a balance of love that equates to $25, and then you'll able you're you're going to be able to plug in your PayPal email and your contact email, and then cash out, and then that should take like I think up to 45 days for it to get into your PayPal account. You can also share the love with other artists. Um, and as you can see, I've made a couple cents from performing live. And then your widgets, this is where you can um, copy and paste this stuff and bring it into OBS. So you can actually see the song requests window in the actual like window where you're going to be performing live. So these are like overlays, overlays that go over your screen. And then under your scheduling, like this is where you're going to select your shows. So over here you pick a date and then you're going to select what times you're available to go live. I'm pretty sure that you only need to perform at least 20 minutes per show, but I have an upcoming appointment with an artist coach. So I will learn more about that. And if you'd like to hear 
if you'd like to um, see more videos breaking down sessions, I can uh, do that for you if you are interested as I learn more. So then you'll click a time and then you will schedule the show. First, we're gonna set up our audio devices and make sure that we are sending the right kind of sound to OBS and to Sessions Live so that our fans are able to hear what we hear ourselves on our end. So for audio, the first thing you wanna do is download Soundflower or Black Hole 16 channel software. There may be another one out there, but I went with the Black Hole 16 channel. I think it's just a matter of preference and I could have gone either way. So you wanna to go to this link. It's existential.audio slash black hole. And I got this tip from, and I got this tip from Ian Horton on YouTube. So thanks Ian for this tutorial. He's got a great tutorial on this as well. But basically for audio, you want to go to this website, Black Hole, and you put in your email address and your first name and your last name, and then you click subscribe for free Mac download. And Black Hole is an open source virtual audio driver that allows applications to pass audio to other applications with zero additional latency. So basically, if you are creating a sound in Logic or another digital audio workstation, you're going to be able to send that curated sound to OBS without creating any sort of lag or latency. And that's really important because if you want to add reverb or you want to add a delay, um, an echo, maybe like put some compression on it, now you're going to be able to do that without it interfering with your live stream. So after you go through all the prompts and you download Black Hole, then you want to go to your spotlight search. You're going to go to the magnifying glass at the top of the screen and you're going to search for um, audio MIDI setup. You're going to um, find things like built-in microphone, built-in output, um, probably the microphone that you currently have plugged in, which I do. So I have the Yeti um, stereo microphone plugged in and black hole. This is what we're going to end up creating is the multi output device. So to do that, you're going to go to this plus sign right here and you're going to go to create multi output device. Now, if you have your interface plugged in, which I should have plugged in for the sake of this tutorial, um, you would see it show up here. I do have my Yeti stereo microphone that's just a USB connection to the laptop. So that is showing up here. But if you had your interface, then it would show up like it does here in my other multi-output device, which includes the Scarlett Solo USB, which is not currently plugged in. That's why it's grayed out. But your multi-output device is going to be using your interface plus the black hole software. You want to make sure that your interface is above black hole 16 channel. And then Ian mentioned in his tutorial that you want to make sure that your interface is above the black hole 16 channel. So you might have to uncheck some things and check them again to make sure that your interface is above black hole 16 channel. And then next to black hole 16 channel, you want to click drift correction. And if you would like to hear more about Ian's process, I will link his YouTube tutorial in the video description below if you are needing more assistance. Ian does a great job of breaking it down and making it easy to understand. And now you want to go into your digital audio workstation and I use Logic. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to be using Logic. So we have to adjust some audio preferences. So you're gonna to go to this Logic Pro X drop down menu, go to preferences, go to audio. And then right here for output device, you want to select your multi output device that you just created in your audio MIDI setup window. You'll select multi output device. And then for input device, you're going to select your interface. Um, in this case, it is the Scarlett Solo USB. So whatever that is for you, you select your interface and then you would hit apply changes. And then as I mentioned earlier, you'll go to your settings in OBS and just make sure that your audio is black hole 16 channel for your mic auxiliary audio. Now I'm going to show you a bonus tip that I learned from a listener on sessions live. I was originally sending 
my audio, my vocals, to one side of the headphones. So if the listener was listening on headphones, they could only hear my voice on the left side. And that was really annoying for me as well because I was also experiencing that and I couldn't quite figure it out. And then a fan told me, and which was like super helpful and I really appreciate them. So big shout out to that fan on Sessions Live. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna go to audio, output capture. I have it as output, but it should probably be audio input capture. You want to go to your audio capture and you want to go to this little wheel right next to it. You want to go to advanced audio properties. And then right here under the mono section, these boxes are unchecked. For some reason, OBS defaults your microphone audio to be stereo, and then it sends it to one side for whatever reason. But as I familiarize myself with this stuff, I'm learning more and more. You just wanna make sure that your microphone and your audio capture is selected for mono, and then that should fix the problem for you if you are not hearing your vocals on both sides of your headphones. And then as a backup, just go to your settings in OBS, go to audio, and under channels, you can um, uh, click mono and try that if it's not working out for you and you don't hear your voice on both sides. Um, I leave it on stereo here for whatever reason that's working for me. All right, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys found that super helpful. Thank you for watching today's tutorial on how to set yourself up for live streaming success as an artist and musician. If you got a lot of value out of today's video, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing to this channel and hit that notification bell so you are always in the know of new uploads. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and if there's anything that you want me to go more in depth over in future videos. I'd be happy to figure it out and get you guys the answer. Oh, before you go, if you are interested in becoming an artist on Sessions Live, please consider putting me down as your referral. I'll leave all the referral information down in the video below. It would be awesome if you would put down my username or use my email as your referral. So good luck with live streaming and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.